Hot Show 2017 at Climate. I'm here with Andrew, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Awesome, let's hear about some of your pads. You know, I use one of them, actually, uh, one of the pads and the pillow. I like them both a lot, which is why I wanted to come over and hear some more about uh, your new products and give you guys some exposure. So, Great, thank let's you. hear about what you got. Absolutely, yeah. So new for this year, we've got our hammock V-pad. This is the insulated version. We just launched this past week. Really excited about this. These wings on the pad help splay out the sides of the hammock, give you a little bit more room inside there. Has a non-slip texture right along here, help keep your body in place on the pad. Two strips of the non-slip texture on the back side to help keep the pad in place in the hammock. Insulated version has a four and a half R value here, so really gonna help keep you warm. Can even get rid of that under quilt under there. The insulation beneath you is not gonna compress like a, a bag would underneath you. So really quick, easy inflation with these deep V welds, more efficiently disperse your body weight with less air in. So about 15 to 20 breaths on the hammock V here, also compatible with our inflation stuff sack as well. So really excited about this pad coming out here. A lot of, a lot of buzz and uh, going to be a great option for sleeping more comfortably in a hammock. Very nice. So like I said before, I have the, the static V, um, which is, is super comfortable. That's not insulated. You say this is or isn't? Or this is an insulated version. So okay. we just this summer launched the regular version of our hammock V. Really well received. And then for the winter here, also now doing the insulated, the insulated version. version. Very cool. Correct. Yep. Very nice. Yeah. Um, I like the I like the little, like yep. you said, sort of the tackiness to help you stay in exactly. place. Exactly. That's one, one of the main complaints about hammocks. Using a regular pad in a hammock is the pad sliding out from underneath you. That's one of the main the things I've struggled with. And guys who watch my channel know that I've kind of, eh, somewhat sworn off hammocks. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's mainly because I haven't found a system that works for me yet. And I haven't uh, had the time to try it harder, I guess you should Yeah, we'll have to get you one of these to try. Uh, maybe so. Right on. So the wings, again, like you said, sort of help to pad and also to insulate on the sides. Exactly. Right? Help now, insulate, help splay out the sides of the hammock, give you some more room as yeah, well. Yeah, excellent. Cool. Yep. Uh, 15 to 20 breaths is what you said? That's right. Yep. Really super easy to inflate with that design. Okay. Yep. And uh, talk about, just in general, um, sort of the the channels that you guys create and what advantage does that provide? Exactly, yeah. The big advantage, like I mentioned, is really just ease of inflation. So you could lay one of these down, you could use this on the ground just like you could in a hammock, um, but on our standard static V, about 10 breaths to inflate, really super easy to inflate, but you put that down on the concrete, lay on your side, you won't feel the ground at all, even at the hips, shoulders, typical pressure points. So okay. that's the real big advantage of that deep V-well design that, that we have become known for. So the key is that you, you need less air in there because of those ribs which basically still give you the surface that you need but you don't need the entire thing completely full as you guys are some others exactly okay yep. interesting i yeah. like it and then Sweet. The, go ahead i was just going to say from there we talked about having a look at also new for this year our double v pad so again came out with a double v pad this past summer now launching the insulated version as well so still packs down nice and small right about 50 ounces there for an insulated version that's going to give you again about a four and a half hour value so really help keep you warm in that colder weather camping also got the regular version packs down just like that both of these come with this inflation stuff sack so yeah tell us about how that works absolutely yeah let me grab I so one way inflate valve right in the right in the top corner here, just like the hammock V pad. I mentioned this is compatible with that as well. So one way inflate valve this corner, one way deflate valve over here. Mm -hmm. Real quick, easy deflation. Okay. So you've got the, the valve on the stuff sack bag right here. Yeah. Clicks right into the one way inflate. Okay. And you just open it up, catch some air in there, and there's your stuff sack pump. Wow. So about eight to ten bags full and you got that got the double filled up even less for the hammock pad. Oh wow. Yeah. I like so, that. Great same great V-shaped design. Again, super comfortable, big advantage over obviously like a traditional air mattress. Mm -hmm. Sleeping with your partner, you're heavier than them or vice versa. You move around, they are all the way up, you're sinking down in, you won't yeah. have that won't have that problem. Those channels limit the air movement between the two sides, so you're not gonna be bouncing them around throughout the night. Seems like it's still plenty thick too same time absolutely yep again going to keep you off the ground even on your side you're not going to feel the ground at all i like it yep um have you guys brought in some sleeping bags as well we have as well so 
Really excited this past year, won the Outside Magazine Gear of the Year Award for our 20 degree, our KSP 20 down bag here, 650 downfill, true comfort rated 20 degree bag, just over two and a half pounds. So from the success we've had there, we're now launching kind of an entire lineup of sleeping bags based off of that. So we've got our new 20 oversize, really good big oversized chest and shoulder area for those that might want a little bit more room but still has that kind of technical mummy shape helps retain more heat mm -hmm. found there's a, either a big fat rectangular bag or a tight restricting mummy out there in the market and we're trying to fill fill the space in between a little bit and then from there we also have our new zero degree standard size bag packs down nice and super small with the included compression sack just about just over three and a half pounds for the zero degree there again comfort rated to zero degrees lower limit even down farther than that and then our zero oversize as well so you can see how how small that compacts to just just under four pounds but it's really super comfortable and and uh, gonna fit the big guys a little bit better or if you just like a little bit more room and don't like to be as constricted in a traditional mummy bag very nice Excellent. Looks like great stuff coming from Climate this year. Thank you very much. Yeah, happy to see it, and thanks for that walkthrough. Absolutely. Thanks, Shane. And we are at SHOT Show 2017. Thanks for watching.